Good evening, family. Once more, I'm back. Um, I was looking at the reading from um, May 26 in the other book I use, um, He Knows My Name. And um, I don't know that it elaborated on the other reading just a little bit more. So I'm going to name it Safe in His Leading, but the uh, I'm also going to put on there just a little something extra. So thank you for being with me. And Read it at your, um, like, well, read it at your, at your own peace. Enjoy. Amen. Let us pray. Abba Father, thank you, Lord, for this, mm, I'm going to call it an additional meal to the one that we've already had. So thank you. Blessings and healing, Lord, in your name. Um, just keep teaching us, Abba Father, in Jesus' name. Amen safe in his leading. Our scripture lesson is Psalms 23 verses 1 through 4 from the Old Testament and it reads, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Amen. I sang, God Leads Us Along by G.A. Young for special music at church, and the words really penetrated my heart, as music often does. The song shares how all of us have good times and bad. We can feel God's leading in all types of situations. He is our good shepherd who leads us into shady green pastures, are along the mountaintop where the sun shines so brightly. However, there are times when we go through the waters, the flood, and the fire. I think of the children of Israel as they waited anxiously on the shores of the Red Sea as Pharaoh's army bar barreled down on them, or Noah and his family as they waited for the rain after the door of the ark was closed? What about the three Hebrew boys who faced the fiery furnace when they refused to bow down to Nebuchadnezzar's statue? And then there was Joseph and all of the sorrows he faced with his brothers selling him into slavery. Potiphar's wife falsely accusing him of rape resulted in Joseph spending years in an Egyptian prison. The Bible is full of all kinds of troubles, but as the song reminds us, no matter what you're going through, we are all going through the blood. Yes, the blood of Jesus. Without his sacrifice, we would not have any hope for the future or for eternal life with him in heaven. Without his sacrifice, we would not be able to pass through those troubling times in our lives. He is our God, our strength, and our song. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The disciples knew this when they found themselves in a boat on the Sea of Galilee in the middle of the worst storm they had ever experienced. That's in Luke chapter 8, verses 23 to 25. They believed they were going to drown, yet all they had to do was call on the name of Jesus. When they did, he rebuked the wind and the raging waters, and the storm subsided. Luke 8, 24. Are you facing the waters, the flood, or the fire today? Amid any troubles, Jesus is there. Our prayers do not need to be wordy or fancy. Simply calling out the name of Jesus is a powerful, eloquent prayer. He will hear and answer, uh, and answer according to his will and his plans for our lives. When we trust him, he will put a song of praise in our hearts. Amen. Amen. Our reading um, for May the 26th, 
Something a Little Extra, titled Safe in His Leading, was written by Karen M. Phillips. And just want to share rather quickly, um, this morning when I got up and I asked the Lord for my song for the day, and I was just thinking about the wonderful time that I had with um, my family on yesterday. We had a um, one-day family reunion, and um, actually it was for May the 26th. We had a one-day family reunion. I'm a, I'm a day late with the 26th reading. And I tell you, um, I was exhausted when I got home, and that's why I couldn't do the reading. But um, I tell you, the Lord, um, He just He just blessed us. We had family to come up from Virginia, um, North Carolina, and of course here in New Jersey. And I think it was over sixty of us that were at my brother's house. But the Lord just brought everybody in safely and by his grace everyone got back to their home safely so I was so tired when I got in last night and um, I, I, I didn't have the strength or the stamina I should say to be able to do the video for the 26th and that's why I'm just getting to it today but I wanted to share this one safe in his leading and it's just going to be in parentheses a little something extra for the 26th so good night, family, good afternoon, good evening, or good morning, whenever you're viewing this video. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and remember that the greatest love of all is still and always will be the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Blessed day, family. Amen.